Hi, this is Richard White, and we're going to run through the data analyzer homework problem. This is from Kai Horseman's AP Computer Science book. Uh, exercise 611, I'm just looking through and checking things out here. I've got a random data analyzer, 100 random numbers between 0 and 1,000. I'm going to put them in some sort of data set and then print out the average and the maximum. So using BlueJ, I'm just going to wipe all this stuff out. This is going to be a single program. So I'll start out with the public, static, void, main, our usual plumbing that we put in here just to get a main program going. And I'm thinking about what I'm going to be putting in here. I think I'm going to use a, a bottom-up approach. So I'm going to do uh, little pieces one at a time. So the first thing I have to do is figure out how to get a random number in there. So I'm going to import java.util.random. That's the random number package. And I'm just going to see if I can print out a random number between 0 and 1,000. So that requires that I first set up a generator. So I'm setting up an instance of that random number generator. I'm going to call it generator. And then I want to be able to print out a number. So uh, maybe I'll store that in a variable, randnum. It's going to be an integer between 0 and 1,000. So generator.nextint is going to be the random number I get. I haven't put in the 1000 here, so I, I, what's going to happen when I do just next int all by itself? Let me print that out and see if this is working. I should get a number between 0 and 1000, and when I run it I'm getting some ridiculous number here. I don't know what happened there. Oh, it's probably because I didn't put in the 1000 in there. I need to specify with that next int, the generator, I need to specify what range of integers I want to go with. So. This will get me one between 0 and 9999. So that's good. Let me try it out and see here. 47. That seems a little bit low. Let me try it again. And OK, 531. OK, one more time. Let me try again. 297. So this looks like it's giving me a random number <clears throat> in the right range. So good. Again, bottom up, I've solved my first problem. I've figured out how to generate a random number between 0 and 1,000. Now I have to do that 100 times. I need to generate 100 random numbers between 0 and 1,000. So I know how to do that. This is not a conditional loop. This is going to be a counting loop. I'm going to do 100 of these. I know I have to do 100. So let me set up a little uh, i loop here that's going to run from 0 to 100. Is that right? I think that's a mistake there. It should go either from 0 to i less than 100 or from 1 to i less than or equal to 100. This is a little mistake in here, and I don't ever get it fixed. So I'm trying to print out all these numbers, and it looks like I printed out a bunch of numbers. There may be about 100 of them. In this case, I think there are actually 101. Uh, I'd like to maybe see them all on the page at the same time, so I'm going to run through and take out the print line there. I'll put in a print and add a space between each one of these. And then once I get done printing them all, I'll print out a blank line. So let's see what happens when I compile this and go ahead and run this. So now I get a long list of numbers there. They're all printed on one line. It doesn't wrap around. So that's, I guess that's not very convenient after all. I'll probably decide I want to print them out all in one big column later on. But I've basically got this running now. I'm getting 100 numbers, or in this case 101 numbers, and running through. And now I have to figure out what I'm supposed to do with those. Uh, it says add them to a data set. Um, if that means literally adding, I don't have any con uh, data structures yet that I can keep track of all these numbers. But I know I'm going to be getting the average in a few minutes, so maybe I'm just going to add up all these numbers. I'm going to create a sum variable, initially with zero in it. And I'm going to add those numbers into that sum variable as I go through. So sum plus equals... And it's not i, it's the random number that I've just found. And then I guess I want to print out what that sum is, at least to, to check out and see how it's working. So let me check again. Notice I'm writing a little bit of the program and then compiling it and running it to see what the effect is. It's a really efficient strategy for getting things uh, written, as opposed to I'm going to write the entire program and compile it, and it blows up a bunch of times, and I'm not even sure if my logic is working. So I'll go ahead and print out that sum. Let me run this, compile this and run this, and see how this is working. 
And yeah, I'm going to get rid of that whole print them across the page thing. That wasn't working for me. So I'm going to wipe that out. And what happens when we run this now? I'm getting my list of numbers, and the sum of the data set is 52264. So, okay, that's a pretty big number. I guess this seems like it's working about the way I'd expect. There, it's a slightly smaller sum there. So that's that's good. That's good. But as I reread this up here, I really am not interested in the sum. What they want me to print out is the average and the maximum. So I'm going to get the average by printing out, let's see, that would be the sum of all the numbers divided by the number of numbers I had. So that's going to be sum divided by 1,000, because that's how many numbers I had, right? No. No, that's not right. It should be 100. I'll fix that in a few minutes. Um, but I'm going to get that average there. And then the maximum, how am I going to print out the maximum of the data set? Uh, I'm probably going to need a variable to keep track of that. I'm going to call it max. That means I need to go up here and declare that variable. And so int max, that'll start out as zero. That's the lowest I could possibly have. And I guess every time I go through, once I get a new random number, then I'll check that random number. And if the maximum I have so far is less than this new number, if this new number is bigger than all the numbers I've seen so far, then I'm going to save that number. I'm going to save rand num and store it in that max variable. And by the time I get done, then I'll have that maximum stored there. So let's go ahead and run this, see what this looks like. Still have a few things to, to fix, but uh, the average is 47. That seems a little low to me, doesn't it, of all those numbers? 47 seems a little bit low. Also, it's a perfect integer each time. That uh, that doesn't seem right to me. There seems to be a little something wrong there. Now, that's probably because I'm dividing by 1,000 instead of 100. And also, I need to make sure that the sum is a double. Up to this point, I've just been doing integer division. So if I make sum a double value, then when I use the division operator, it'll actually give me decimal points. So let me fix that first of all. And now I'm getting the decimal points. Again, that number is much too low. That's because I'm dividing by 1,000 rather than 100. I have 100 numbers that I'm adding up. So let's see how this works. That seems to be more or less what I'm looking for, that 542 point something. So this is uh, a more or less working program. Again, I have a little problem with that for loop that I never got fixed. But uh, this is a great example of a little program to write using bottom-up design. And I uh, hope it was helpful to you.